Thanks, Natasha. Yes, we're still talking basic education, in particular uh, early childhood development after basic education minister Angie Mutaha says one of her priorities in the next financial year will be to improve the conditions of ECD, focusing on foundational literacy. And we're joined in studio by Monica Stach, who is the CEO of Cotlands, to speak about the importance of ECD, but also just how attainable the minister's plan for the next financial year is. Yes. So, Monica, speak to us about nutrition now, for example, and how that will aid in developing a young mind. So nutrition is critical. If we look at um, the brain development, 80% of that occurs in the first two years of life. And children really need the proteins and the vitamins in order for the brain to really develop fully. And so children who don't get the ad adequate nutrition will not... Uh, fully develop their potential and their brain capacity. And so when we talk about early childhood, it is important that children get the right nutrition uh, for their particular age group so that they can really grow healthy minds and bodies. Mm. One of the things the minister spoke about in outlining her plan is a plan to move ECD centers away from social development and into basic education. And when we started speaking, you mentioned that they do fall under social development. Is this a good idea? Does it sound like a good idea to move uh, ECD centers? Because quite a lot of education also has to do with the social development, the family life, the community children are in, the schools, uh, the, EC, the, the, the centers are in. Um, would it be a good idea? What would be the disadvantages of moving from social development? I think um, the plan to move this is, is partly supported by the ECD sector. However, there are some concerns around uh, whether the schools are the right kind of infrastructure for young children. Whether this, and, and it's very unclear whether it's simply a role change in terms of um, oversight, monitoring and, and support and whether it's physically relocating these schools, which in my opinion would not be the best in the best interest of children. Um, I, we know that Grade R currently is also delivered by a number of community-based sites. And so we would like to advocate that children remain in these ECD sites, but that the function, the monitoring, the support then moves to the Department of Basic Education. I think one of the, the positive um, aspects of moving it into the Department of Basic Education is that the care of young children will now also expand not just be about keeping them safe whilst parents are at work and providing them with a good nutritious meal, but that we would also get the early learning component to happen in these um, ECD centres. Unfortunately, you know, we have ranging quality um, standards. We don't always see the best practice happening in all of these ECD centers. And so children don't all get the right start before they actually go to school. And so if it's um, under the auspices of the Department of Basic Education, we hope that the quality of early learning experiences through play will actually lay the foundations needed so that children will have the pre-literacy and the pre-numeracy skills you know, we do very poorly as a country in terms of our mathematics and also our literacy skills. And although children pass through the education system, they are still functionally illiterate and not numerate at all. And I think it stems back to if a child is in an ECD care situation where it's just about feeding and sleeping, uh, we can expect those kinds of poor results at towards the end of matric. Mm. But if we get those early years right and we get children to have the right kind of resources for them to be exposed to what we call play-based learning, um, not worksheets, not sitting behind a desk, but actively exploring their world through play and having someone that is skilled to actually guide their play and to capitalize. So if a, a little boy finds a snail and he's very interested in that, to have the adult in his space be able to take that learning and that interest and to actually um, advance that through questions and conversations and bringing a book about snails into the room, bringing him, giving that little boy or girl a magnifying glass, talking about the parts of a snail because children will lead their own education. They show us very clearly what they are interested in and if you're a vigilant adult, you'll pick up on, on their interests and you'll build education on that. But then very quickly because we're going to have maybe just 45 seconds for this, does that mean that people shouldn't be taught uh, everything? If you just specialize from an early age, is that what it means? No. Because, for example, if a young person is only interested in snails, 
yeah. and then you concentrate on that and then maybe you don't speak about i don't know i'm trying to think of another example but that's essentially my question does that yeah. mean that you should rather yeah. concentrate on what the young person is, is interested in Young children need the breadth of skills mm. so that eventually they can specialize. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Monica Bach, uh, joining us here in studio, CEO of Kotlin. So let us know what your thoughts are. If you've got any questions at 405 Mornings, don't forget your hashtag, Breaking Dawn on 405. We'll be right back after this.